Runway 3, clear for takeoff. Runway 3, clear for takeoff. Cessna 6513 Delta. Cool. Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joel and today I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks to help you communicate with air traffic control. So in this video, I want to cover three things. First, the general flow of a conversation between you, the pilot, and the air traffic control tower. Next, I want to give you a script that you can use. Finally, I want to talk about the times that you're most likely to speak with ATC because if you can anticipate these things, you can practice. And if you can practice, you're more likely to succeed. Framework one of two, the conversation flow. By the end of framework one, you should know who speaks when and why. Do not worry about the actual content of what you have to say here. I'll show you that in framework two. Just focus on the back and forth flow of the conversation between me and air traffic control. Any conversation with ATC generally has three parts. First, there is the request. Next, there are the instructions that you get. And then finally, you need to confirm that you successfully received those instructions. Scottsdale Tower, Cessna 6513 Delta, holding short of runway three for closed pattern touch and goes. Minute 6513 Delta, Scottsdale Tower, make left closed traffic, runway three, clear for takeoff. Runway three, clear for takeoff, Cessna 6513 Delta. So again, don't worry too much about the actual contents of that last conversation. What's important is understanding the flow of it. I sent out a request, I received instructions, and then I confirmed those instructions by reiterating them back to the tower. Now in this next section, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about what was actually said. How do you make a request and what is the script that you should generally use for making a request? Because if you understand this script, you can make any request that you want. Framework number two, what to say, the script. By the end of framework number two, you should know the content of one, a successful request, and two, a successful confirmation message back to ATC. By following the script I will share, you will be prepared to make any call that comes your way. When you're speaking with ATC, there are generally five things that you must communicate to them. First, who are you speaking to? Who are you? Where are you? With what information? And finally, what is your request? So here's a simple script that you can use when making a request to air traffic control. The blanks here are the variables that you can put in. So in this case, I'm gonna say, who am I talking to? I fly out of Scottsdale, so I'm gonna say Scottsdale Ground or Scottsdale Tower. You may fly out of Philadelphia, so you would say Philadelphia Ground or Philadelphia Tower. Next is the unique identifier for my plane, Cessna 738 Juliet Yankee. Where am I? I'm at Kilo Ram. With what information? I got Sierra from the ATIS. And then finally, what's my request? I want to taxi to the active runway. So let's see that in action. Scottsdale Ground, Cessna 738 Juliet Yankee at Kilo with Sierra for the active. So Cessna 8 Juliet Yankee, Scottsdale Ground, runway 3, taxi via Alpha. So first they say who they're speaking to. They're speaking to me, Cessna 738 Juliet Yankee. Then they identify who they are, Scottsdale Ground. And then from there, they give me the instructions based on the request that I gave. So they're going to tell me, runway 3, taxi via Alpha. So we've just given our request. We've received our instructions. I'm sure you can guess what comes next. We need to confirm those instructions by reiterating them. What we simply need to do is say the command back to them and then sign off with our unique tail ID. Runway 3, taxi via Alpha, 738 Juliet Yankee. And just like that, you've completed your first call. Now, if ATC has a problem with what you reiterated back to them, say you said the wrong thing, you made a mistake, they'll correct you there and make you confirm once again by giving you the instructions or asking you to clarify. But if you say it correctly and they have no problems with it, then they're not gonna say anything and it's time for you to go execute that action that you just reiterated back to them. Now let's see it in action. In this final section of the video, I'm gonna share some footage of one, the request to taxi to the active runway, and two, the request to use the runway to take off. So we're starting a kilo ramp, and our goal is to get to the hold short area where we're gonna then get permission to take off. So the first thing that we need to do is request from ground control permission to taxi to the active runway. Scottsdale Ground, Cessna 6513 Delta at kilo with whiskey for the active. Cessna 6513 Delta, Scottsdale Ground, runway 21, taxi via Alpha. Runway 21, taxi via Alpha, 6513 Delta. Now that we have permission, we're just going to taxi on over. And now that we've taxied over to the whole short area, we're gonna do a couple checks, and then finally we're gonna to talk to the tower and we're gonna ask them for permission 
to take off in a specific direction. Scottsdale Tower, Cessna 6513 Delta, holding short of runway 21 for a northbound departure. Cessna 6513 Delta, Scottsdale Tower, right turn on approved, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Runway 21, clear for takeoff, Cessna 6513 Delta. And now you're clear to go. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.